Hey there, so in this video I'm going to show you how I use Image Optum to optimize my images for my WordPress blog posts. Um, I use Image Optum. It's a Mac app. If you use a Windows or PC, you can use their web service or you can use another tool like JPEG Mini. Once you download Image Optum, the next thing you need to do is jump in to show it and figure out the post content width. So jump to your single post page find the text box that is set to post content and then look at the width. Mine's 800 so I want my images to be 1600 pixels wide. Once you have that figured out you can, I have some sample images here, uh, you need to find the images that you want uh, to upload into your blog post um, again but you you want to have a copy of them because you don't want to actually optimize the images that you deliver to your clients because these are ready for print. Uh, so I'm actually going to copy these over. Oops, do, do, paste, there we go. And these are going to be my web ready images. Now that we have web ready images, you can see that they're not web ready because the image size is way too large and the dimension is not 1600 pixels wide we're going to select all of them open with preview if you're using a PC you might be able to use paint or another um, uh, another software like Photoshop so we're gonna hit command A select all of them tools adjust size and then do 1600 pixels wide that's because my post content container was 800 pixels wide. If yours is 600 pixels wide, it's going to be 1200 and so forth. So we're going to change the resolution to 72 as well and then go ahead and click OK. So it just resized all my images. So we're going to exit preview and you're going to see inside web, web ready images 1600 pixels wide now and the image um, file size did drop but we still want to compress it even more. So you can see that, you know, this one's 1.1 1 .1 megabytes, 707, 683, better but not compressed enough. So we're going to select them all and we're going to drop them into Image Optum. And it's going to optimize them and once it's done, you'll see the green check marks. We jump back over, you'll see that they're now super optimized, compressed ready to be uploaded to WordPress. Um, now just to show you a comparison, you can see this image here still looks really good. Uh, it's only 277 kilobytes and 1600 pixels wide. Let's actually open up the original here. So I'm gonna close that really quick. I'm gonna copy that and jump over here and paste that. Keep both. So you can see this is that image. It's 3.8 megabytes the same image optimized 1600 pixels wide and only 277 kilobytes let's look at the resolution difference so again this is the original here if I jump down one that's the optimized version there's no difference at all in image quality which is great we we want to be able to retain the image quality but have a low file size so you can see that it does an excellent job at that can't even tell a difference at all. So that's how I optimize my images. Hopefully this helps you guys. If you have any questions, just let me know.